Hey guys, Nomus RC. So today we're actually going to be talking about swashplate leveling. I haven't had a chance to make a video on it yet. Um, generally, I can get it pretty much dead on by eye. But every now and again, you'll run into uh, where you do a build and you fly the helicopter and it's a little bit off. And so, you know, your eyes can only do you so much good in that scenario. And at that point, you need to go ahead and use a tool. So we'll take a look at some of these that we have here. Uh, this is for a 380 size to 420 size SAB Goblin, right? This actually slides in underneath the swash plate. I really like these because you don't have to take your head apart, right? These make the most sense to me of any of them um, because the helicopter can be completely assembled and you can level the swash. And then something that I like about what Align does is you can actually read it here. T-Rex 550 to 800. So this actually does all of those. And the reason that it does is because that center piece can fall out. This is a 12 millimeter, right? And when you put this center piece in, it's a 10 millimeter. So it'll do a 10 millimeter main shaft and it'll also do a 12. So our 700 size SAB one, uh, this is actually a 12 millimeter main shaft. The 500 570 is a 10 millimeter. Um, these are probably about an eight millimeter for the 380 I can't remember. Don't quote me on that one. Uh, and then the uh, Oxy is also a 10 millimeter. But like I said, it needs a cutout here, and we'll see why here in just a little bit. So anyway, let's go ahead and use one of these tools and level a swash. We're going to level the swash plate on this Oxy 5 Meg helicopter. Well, let's get the canopy off of here and get started. All right, so once you get your canopy off, what we need to do is take out our main Jesus bolt up top, and then we need to pop all of our links off of our swash plate, all four of them. So let's get this Jesus bolt pulled, and then we'll start popping these off. All right, so once we have our Jesus bolt out of here, we can use our ball link pliers, right, and pop all these links off. And then you do have these little uh, extra screws right here that help stiffen up the head. And now that those are loose, your head block will actually just pull straight up off of here and uh, you'll have your blades and blade grips and everything attached to it, right? Just like that. And then you can take this assembly and you can just set it aside. Uh, this is one that I specifically made for the Oxy 5 Meg. You can get it off of my Thingiverse. Uh, the only thing that's a little bit different about the Oxy 5 is when you put your swash plate leveler on here, you need it to be able to go in between this right here so you just wind up having to make that portion a little bit thinner all right so we got our radio on we got the heli powered up and connected uh, usb to the computer and uh, we also have the spirit software open and it's connected and so you want to go into uh under servos and you want to check mark sub trim right here as soon as you check mark this it automatically pulls it back to what should be mid stick and what should be completely level. So let's throw our leveler on there and see how we're looking. Wow, we're actually looking really good. So it is 100% perfectly level. We don't have any space in between any of these right here. And if we did, we would actually come in here and mess with the sub trims. So you can see we can create a gap right there. What you would want to do with these sliders in the software is you want to fill that gap. So you want to bring it to whatever it would be to make each and every one of these three connections all just barely touch to where the swash plate lever can still move, um, but they're just barely slightly touching. And that, my friends, is how you level your swash plate. So if you do not have a spirit device or a fly barless controller, maybe this is a fly bar, or you're running an old fly barless controller that you still have to do all your mechanical setup. So once you have your radio at mid stick and you're an idle up one, right? Then you would put your then you would put your swash plate leveler on here. And if you had a gap in between any one of these three points. 
you would actually adjust your length right here. And most of the time you can just use like a, a, a wrench like this and you can adjust these. Uh, if yours aren't adjustable this way, you can pop it off, make your adjustment, pop it back on, and keep going until you get it to where all three of these just barely touch all these connections. And that's it, guys. That's all that you have to do to level your swash plate. As always...